seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Only few people said amen. amen. The Lord anoint his word in our hearts. Amen. amen. Now, so let me just continue from where I left off last week. It will be good for you if you were not here uh, to go on either YouTube or Facebook and listen to last week's message because I laid a level of foundation and I cannot go back. But last week, basically, or essentially, summarily, we came to some key points. We were talking about dimensions of enlargement. And we reminded ourselves of the definition of enlargement. And you recall that we said enlargement is the making of a room supernaturally by God on behalf of his covenant children which now allows them to increase exponentially in dimensions that pertains to living on this earth praise the lord may god make room for you may god make room for you so you will get to your place of enlargement and we also said that there are three major dimensions of enlargement so when god makes room for you to be enlarged number one economically it affects you so we have economic enlargement and number two we said geographically or territorially it affects you so we have territorial enlargement and then number three we said there's something i labeled security enlargement or liberating enlargement hallelujah and we were able to talk about the first one economic enlargement and don't forget we say economic enlargement is when god makes room for his children such that their access to material and financial blessings increases hallelujah and therefore causes them to be enlarged to meet economic demands can i hear a big amen to that yeah. and we said it is so because and i nobody should ever forget this any message on what you may call prosperity that is not properly linked to our calling is fallacious it's nonsense it's out of place it's not needed in the body of christ because god will not make you rich and wealthy so that you walk into somebody's life and as we say we say any panel negative influence that's not what the church is about so i need to warn everybody here i have seen god enlarge many christians and it is time for them to get more girlfriends it is time for them i mean and they, they influence people negatively that's not it our calling is to influence people. Are you hearing me? Yes. In Matthew chapter 5 verse 13 to 15, the Bible says, And you are the salt of the earth. If a salt loses its taste, it is useless. Then he goes on and he says, You are the light of the world. What is salt and what is light? Positive influence. Are you hearing me? When there's darkness and light appears, the light positively influences the darkness and dissipates the darkness. And there's light all over and people can see clearly. Salt, you are eating and there's no salt. It, it is tasteless. But once you add a little salt, that's who you are. You are supposed to arise and influence your generation. Arise and influence your families. Arise and influence your friends positively with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Any child of God who is hearing my voice and you are going about influencing people negatively, you are a big shame and a big disgrace to the house of God. 
and you must repent. I pray that God will give you a heart of flesh and not a heart of stone. So you can accept his word and allow his word to transform you and get to the place of enlargement. I believe in prosperity. A prosperity, prosperity that is not linked to influencing the lives of people with the gospel of Jesus Christ is no prosperity. Because the devil also enlarges people economically through occult, all those things. Glory to Jesus. I don't know. Niyami Kayani said, Na wachu yechu yemono. Hallelujah. Baka kra, yebek, yesuya na wachu yemono, abe pese mikaya mansana matu yasu yonese. Bible se, nyami edi ni ma, eba apempe so, a profuka se se enlargement. Ah, oye okesie, anase all trail. Ni eka se se, nyami so oye okesie, na watrewa. Ni ma mi yisabe didi, ewa wabrabu. Ni edi kain, eh se, waye okesie, ewa, Sika Ahunya Ha Senebeya Hunsu Adinti Sanse We are Sima Yawono Ni di kindly say Nyami Afre or the Afre Atoso Monkai Mikasabi Bri last week, Mpesa Mikasabi Bri view. Na Afre no chese Yemma a month for so won't on we radeno. Na one nanti a wa until moon any new cray moon. And I make sure my sese We are Sima Yawono. It comes with a cost. Living on this earth. Obi any what we are simu ha. Unisika because ube chia rent. Ube to be biedi. Eh? Mebo wa. Ube chia umba school. It is a nyan coupon. I I I nyo kesi e wo sika kwanso eni ahunya kwanso wa. Ube yedai. Now what now we are simu and some because we say I sorry. So because it's a full fro. A brother, mo. It's like I'm so obedient. Nia, ube to me dia tira viasim. Na se ne be ya hong chao. Na ube to me so. I'm sorry. Aye ni on si ya se ne be ya. Amanse ni na be hunu. Na on subai asachira. Se si akwa dia na dia mi ya ni se aso ibi mukwa na subai bong. Because guy, you know, if you are sorry, they are not your boy. Eh, brownie, brownie. So now, your boy, now, a man for busy buying your ancestors. And so, because you will be on board, you are sorry, they are. Because you will be a. I am not even. I am not even. I am not even. Video clip be so for being on casa. Now, do we be no? Us usui. Usui kaka. I know. Show on the reason why usui. I say we must say. Nipa, Yakuma, you will see Nipa or Carl Christopher. Yakuma is a poor. I say, and far from preaching, we be preaching. This is a powerful man of God speaking. We should be preaching, 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 preaching. So by now, it's sad. Papa, no suing, so far no suing. We may say it's by. Number two, it's the number one. He said, "Me see, I'm even more on here." Is that is that is that the word? Yes. Obi and who actually from last year and last this year, who won't know? And when Jesus Christ told him, "I break the power of a won't know." Ah, kaka Obi di kwa unya empare u this year. Number two, the case, nyami the Obi ti biya watro anase wa yokesi na. Nature said, um, te territorially, how do I say that in tree? And I, Ushim, I can't even hear what you are saying. A sheer boundary, yeah, a sheer, right. And you into me and come as him, and then you become as him. They are tossing me in sack. You say, a broom, you may say, why you can see a home, whom I send you enlargement now. Nature said, Bain bosso ewo ho bain bomo kesi ewo eno su last week man kan wasem ene me kan wasem inja no pay ya me de me buy ya ene first one territorial is what so all three we share mo 
and our faces are all born who buy and I'm ready to join and then all right are you ready okay territorial enlargements first of all remember that you are supposed to influence the lives of people that is key Can I get about six people quickly? Make sure your max is on. Six people, one can stand here. Second person, third person, fourth person, maybe fifth person, sixth person somewhere here. Just distribute yourself. Yeah, one person can go here. Okay, it's okay. That's right. Space out. This is a very simple demonstration for you to understand. Can I have one more person? Come and stand in the middle here. <laughs> okay. All right. So please stand here. So church, listen to me carefully. You live in a world. And the world has people in the world. Your primary responsibility as a child of God is to influence the lives of people. So God, number one, gives you economic enlargement where you have access into material and financial blessings. Who says a Christian cannot be a billionaire or a millionaire or a trillionaire? Who says so? May God release that anointing upon your life. Arise out of this auditorium and become millionaires and billionaires and whatever have you. Breakthrough on every side. Thank you. I know you remember me. Uh, <laughs> welcome, sir. It's good to see you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, watch this. Then you are supposed to influence the lives of people. People don't live in one place. These are people. Hallelujah. One person can stand for about maybe a thousand people, but they live in different geographical locations. Bubuashi, for instance, is a geographical location. And even within Bubuashi, there are different, different geographical locations. So this area is called uh, Don't Mind Your Wife Choba area. Wow, he did some of that two area. If you are in, in, in Don't Mind Your Wife Choba, geograph that's where he is now. And he's influencing the people here. And God is giving him economic enlargement. And his duty is to influence people. Follow me. You should be able to move to another geographical location and influence the person positively. Change the person with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Empower the person with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because he's economically enlarged. If this woman has nothing, she can set her up in business and affect the whole family. Then come and move again. He's now moving to another geographical location. Still influencing lives, all right? Changing lives. Can you imagine? Maybe here is a location of prisons. He has entered prison, bought food for prisoners, preached the gospel. To, he's not a pastor. Who, I'm not talking about a pastor. I'm talking about the ordinary child of God. Because you are light. The Bible never said pastors are light alone. It never said pastors are salt. It said we are salt and we are light. He affects this geographical location. Come on, move to the next one. And keep moving. See what is happening. Territorial enlargement is taking place. Come on, go ahead. Go around. Go around. He has affected another geographical location. Come on, let's come here. But this is where he's based. Then return here. And God is still making him large. But behind him, outside where he lives outside his geographical location he has extended influence to different different territories his territory has been enlarged when he began he was in don't mind your wife's choba geographical area geographical territory but his power to influence has moved to different different territories god is the one 
who opened the room and created the room for territorial enlargement to take place so that his influence can affect many more lives. So if you ask me to give you the definition of territorial enlargement, I will just tell you that this is the divine creation of the room needed to extend the reach of the influence of God's people into lives beyond one geographical area. It's about influence. Say influence. Yes, positive influence. It's about influence. But your influence now leaves one geographical area and begins to affect lives within. But you see, if God does not enlarge that territory, you can't move because there can be issues. That's why we have territorial enlargement. And I've come to realize that there are three levels of territorial enlargement. The first one is what I call the direct kingdom expansion and influence. Say after me, say direct kingdom expansion and influence. This has got to do with the church itself. Because as the church, we are supposed to extend the kingdom of God on this earth. Are you understanding me? Praise the Lord, somebody. You know, Jesus, in Matthew, in Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20 thereabout, the Bible, Jesus said, he said, I'm going, but I need you. He said, go ye. He was talking to them in Jerusalem. But he said, go ye into all the nations territorial enlargement they were in Jerusalem but Jesus said I need you to influence not only Jerusalem but I will extend the territories I will extend the borders so that you can move into the nations of the world nations of the world in fact Jesus made it simple in Acts chapter 1 verse 8 he said when the Holy Ghost is come upon you you shall be my witnesses first he said in Jerusalem one territorial environment then he said from Jerusalem to Judea from Judea to Samaria and from Samaria to the uttermost part part of the world are you hearing me somebody your influence cannot be restricted to one geographical area as long as you are economically enlarged your influence must extend from one geographical area to the other geographical area and so the church must expand in numbers bringing more people into the kingdom and as they expand in numbers in one geographical location, they should be able to move out and extend. And that's why we have branches. This year, this church, we shall plant many more branches. Our territory shall be enlarged. Are you hearing me, somebody? Who says, I am called to sit in Bubuashi and affect only people in Bubuashi? No! No child of God is called to affect people only around him or her. Yes, your Jerusalem must be affected, but you must go to Judea. Are you hearing me, somebody? From Judea, you must go to Samaria. And from Samaria, you must go to the uttermost part of the earth. Yes, and let's clap for them. So first, I said you have the direct kingdom expansion and influence, which is evangelism, outreach from the church level, and increasing the congregation. Then you move outside your, your, your geographical location to also preach the gospel, witness to people, get them born again, establish them as a church, and it keeps going. Listen. When the church was born in the book of Acts, they didn't stay in the upper room alone. The whole things are in the upper room, but they moved out. They came outside. And the kingdom that day, how many more thousands of people came? And they began to move into corners. Corners. That's how come they started having bishops because now many branches and you need one person to be head over. That's territorial enlargement. 
kingdom wise. Number two, apart from the direct kingdom. Now, listen to me. Everything about enlargement is kingdom driven. I discovered that the second area of territorial is the family expansion and influence. Write it down. And I will explain. Now you know why you must marry and have children. And you know why you just don't get children. You don't marry and just get children and then your children are just walking on the street. How can they grow to influence their generation? There's an error somewhere. I'll come there. Ah, Christopher Pa. We have no idea of who we are. So the second one is family expansion and influence. Families are supposed. After all, who is that man who stood here and moved from territory to territory? Doesn't it belong to a family? The whole thing comes from a family level. Genesis chapter 2 verse 24, the Bible says, For this reason, a man shall leave his father's house. A woman shall also leave his father's house. The two of them will become one flesh and then they will give birth. When they give birth, what's the end? Because the children, when they are well groomed, so listen to me, listen to me very carefully on the subject matter of enlargement. You must groom your children. Don't allow your children to follow the dictates of the world. Otherwise, when they grow, they can't influence the world for Christ. Every father and every mother will be judged. If your children do not rise up to influence people positively, God will judge you. Because you have undermined the principle of family expansion and influence, which is an indirect method that God uses to expand his kingdom. So with the family influence, womb must bear. Therefore, this year, any womb that is closed in this church, the womb shall take seed. Are you hearing me? Because the children must come out. And when the children come out, the children must be brought up well. They must go to school. Because you are economically enlarged, you can pay for their... When they become doctors, teachers, whatever. They now, they are leaving the family. Eh? And they are going to different... Me, I come from Odumase Krobo. But I'm not in Odum I was born in Odumase Krobo. But look at me. I'm in Bubuashi, a different territory. Af oh, Kadu Sabahayas. Are you hearing me? If my brother is in the US, another one is here, here. Out of one family called the Nyako family, many people have come out and they have been moved by God into different territories. And at that territories, within those territories, they are affecting and influencing lives. <laughs> Territorial enlargement. And that is why this year, any child of yours who has come under attack and does not seem to understand what they are taught in school. That power shall be destroyed. Because the child might. Oh, Mahadaba. There is so much in the subject matter of family expansion and influence. The third level is what I call business. Expansion and influence. Get ready, business people, this year. You see, it's an indirect. The first one is the direct kingdom expansion and influence, which is church base. The second one is the indirect kingdom expansion and influence through family expansion and influence. Three business expansion and influence so it is still kingdom indirect kingdom expansion and influence through business expansion praise the lord so here it is now you begin a business because within that it is connected to the economic enlargement 
But if the business does not grow, we are in trouble. The kingdom will suffer. So the business must grow. It starts in one geographical location. Then it breaks into franchise areas. So you have KFC. Huh? KFC is not only in US or in if you buy. Look at how they have gained territorial <laughs> enlargement. Hey! West Hills, KFC. Medina, KFC. Awudome, <laughs> KFC. Choco, KFC. Ablekuma, KFC. But do you see how they are taking territories? And anywhere that KFC is, one, the owner is making more money. Two, he's influencing more. My son Jason, Onya KFC chicken or where? I'm saying why? Obiti na brochi o. We to me, I ura Ghana, I ura me me fee. I capture me me ba. No we chicken. Come on, clap your hands and give God praise. That is why in this year 2022, anybody who has a business, the business shall be enlarged. I said the business shall be enlarged. Territorially, the business shall be enlarged. You have a transport business. It is one car. Running, circle, Medina. Ah, it will not be long. Another car will come. Circle, Odometa. My, my hometown. Are you hearing me? Another one will come. Circle where? Yeah. Come on, receive, receive it. Business expansion. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Are you hearing me? And wherever those cars are moving, the drivers are born again. The mates are born again. They are influencing people in those territories. Are you hearing me, somebody? And more money is coming into your pocket because it is your business. Receive this oxide. Moluhundi hadika badi ababaya. Territorial. Yes. Three areas. Direct kingdom. Two. Indirect kingdom through family. And three. Indirect kingdom through businesses. Somebody will say, I don't have a business, but I work in an office. Yes. That is why in that office this year, Nobody can fight your promotion. Are you hearing me, somebody? That is why nobody can kill you in your office. That is why the new opportunities come into your office. It shall locate you and they can't stop it. Are you hearing me, somebody? It's your season and it's your year of enlargement. And all these things gives you the enablement to affect life. Please don't forget if you delink enlargement from kingdom influence, you have missed it. You've missed it. Any prosperity message that is not linked to kingdom influence, I say it's useless. It's a devilish prosperity and nobody should follow that prosperity. Take it from me. I speak on the authority of the word of God. Anybody God called to influence people, he made them rich. It began from Abraham. I told you this last week and on the 31st night. Hallelujah. I think I'm done with territorial enlargement. Put your hands together and give God praise. And as you give God praise, may God enlarge your coast. I said, listen, Exodus 34, 24. God said to the people of Israel, he said, I will enlarge your coast. I see the borders of family being enlarged. I see the borders of this church being enlarged. I see the borders of businesses being enlarged. In the name of Jesus, receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. Give me Exodus 34, 24. God is a God of enlargement. He will enlarge our coast. First Chronicles chapter 4, the Bible spoke about a man called Jabez. He said, enlarge my coast. If God is not a God who will increase our territories, he will never have answered to the cry of Jabez. Exodus 
Exodus 34, 24. And I mean, we in the Kimbambe of Hame, Tibami, last week, no one pen. I'm here. Read for me Exodus 34 24. Anybody pick your Bibles? He said, For I will cast out the nations before thee and do what? Who says God wants you to be in just one place like that? Ah. I'll come back to this scripture later. Hallelujah. I don't know. We say territorial enlargement. Hey, yeah. Another uh, uh, biaya nyami hey, ma nemba say or train yen shemu. Is that so? Yes. Or train yen shemu. And I make a say. Say nyami say or train yen shemu. Me hunuwa three different areas. First one, eh, sir. Ahidi Nankasa, a train. Ah, eh, a sorry. Um, to be share a sorry, I say. Now, Fakuda, oh, na, na, Crawford trainer, who's some of Rabon, or more, Dabby. Sabi, a sorry, I'm not a chassis, no. A chassis, a watch. Nanya me, ye ain't a bar, Bubuashi. Ye will Bubuashi, ye will. This year, from a I say, Kaswa, West Hills, almost so, almost West Hills branch, almost a fellowship, two different places. And between in the next two months or so, you have a friend seven may be a sorry for fraud. So it is a shen headache. Yes. Yami Pese U Shen Head at Trang Sene Baya. Because U to me a co baby be brain. Baby will be rebiana a fee. Ni to me or the amount any nasem say yum boa in crofona wo caniano. Now a brabo and sano. Now, we say, we say to me, I can confirm be brave because we share nothing. For me, come on, friend, we share nothing. I train. Now, say, share no train. I will. I hear you crying. So, Sana. Now, I fall for a such a. We move ready. Beyond that, be brave. We move ready. So, you need you and your fit. Now, oh, wow. Now, what's that? So, higher. And no end and chain number two, Yamish or train with Shena, me whom you say a war, a busia, and we came busia, who can you chapter two? A Bible say, Bema, a be free, Naja fee, now a basso, so a free, Naja fee, now Wabisha, no, I have back, where back where Eddie Eden was, Wauma, now a womb bunny, we are doing this, and Manus Dachi also bed and Umbeco, but Omo Coro, na sa family, no. Sa sa ebusiano, one must be made in etre because we want to be back on oti abroche, back usu oti choko, back usu oti Medina abroche ni mikai mweni aje mika choko ni musi mumpe. It doesn't matter. <laughs> God will bless it. Ah, this one twenty eight. I say, in the village you will be blessed. In the city, you'll be blessed. It does again and found the be of free. So a true cinema. Come on, TT Mune by Radio. Auntie, when did I make a set? Auntie, Sana, a Wadiana, your Wadina, your woman, and your coin, Yami Air Fasso. No, they are three and shame. I say, me, 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 one battery. Obani, dear, me, train, bear, man, I'll be catching him, say. Hey, I was a jet, when you boot him. Hey! Me, I call. Now, me, old age, pa, now, be, I'm a great TV. No, my, tisset, me, be, why, a doctor. On this, also, be, be, a pediatrician. Now, me, pay, I'm, be, 
na fi matese chali the wea ni doctor juma no o di sha sha kofo no o ye specialist and so na me tibium say on your bar or the satoso no bi say when me yesu ana na aba papers mu aya o free me fear and o call baby o call no second born so call baby first born so call baby na o mu nyina no me ti o mu nka nie ma papa na wo ye Apart from we juma nyame dia sha won sa wo ye no was to me e famu e di insisaye e bre abrab oh jesus christ when tina ya tu ye fuma e wo se ye fu ye de e bie because of enlargement when tina u mbana ye nje o mu se o mu nante nante no mu nye eh eh basaba no nyame be man ye nia ye hia na ye de o mu akosuku na ya titi o mu e wo kwan papa so ni ni aye ye nhye ma ye dan e tren e tren e tren e tren e tren e tren o mba no ko afere utv o mu ba bro ni edu o ti papa 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 be o si dada dale o new car ki ni aya ba ko ba si dada mi nzo o ye sofo me si aso dan am fresh e si ya kon ah from the family me bompa ego ebusu ya bia so ha adi tantan bia e dia to ebusu bia en free onko na ni papa in bura sa ebusu ya de to su mi san mi hun e wo se o she o tren mo me se e ye ye san no ejuma he uni abenku kosunia but benku no uni an wo Son, no, it's okay. The kind chop by me and I tackle. Think I'm about chop body. The way I have a people a Facebook with me. But me, oh, Tom Binkun, oh, ah, eh, Nanya, I want to be good, eh, Desi Binkubi, ah, to one uncle for no air, but never, but one old bunny be so free, but oh, to the car free, baby. Afa no bon kona nyame aye connection bia mazo no bi kwa bo wona kwa bi another branch benku branch I'm telling you hey by the time a year me about to an end no na o she my dey at train na o benku so sense mo sra wo so nti no be bia at train bia e kono o mu di no obi koda ni we su dai ni we hu yesu mi wa kwa hu yesu da ah bon self get Obi kwa nya fibroid no onye sika ntia odi ugbanku na na fibroid du pie ye hey ebesi 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 is our year of enlargement it will send you my ebe dan ebe koso ebe shrein ebe train receive it Edia go na say na time no call. Let me now come to. I think I've done justice to territorial enlargement. Put your hands together for the Lord. Security enlargement. Who hear me, pa? Because economic enlargement. With territorial enlargement, without security enlargement, will put your life at a risk. So God, being the God of enlargement, knowing very well that when He enlarges His children economically and extends their territories, so that the reach of their influence. Will go beyond one geographical location. Knows that in those environments there are enemies. Also knows that somebody who is a friend can rise up and become an enemy. I have seen friends, one person rising and putting poison in the drink of the other friend. Why? Because the other person appears to be flourishing. And they kill them. I have seen two friends. Who are married 
And one lady is always telling his other friend, and my husband does this. And you see, there's enlargement. Then suddenly, the other woman who doesn't see that level of enlargement goes to a juju man, sends your picture to a juju man. If you don't have security enlargement, turn with me to the book of Job, chapter 1. Haluma Sabahaya. Come on, let's go. Job chapter 1. After this, I will define security and life. By the way, the word security, see, there are security experts here. So when I don't talk well, they will, they will catch me. The word security means the state of freedom from danger and threats. So you must come to a state where you are free from dangers, from threats, from bullets, from projections. <laughs> okay. There was a man in the land of Uz whose name, oh, oh, Mahanda Bosone, whose name was Job. And that man was perfect, upright, the one that feared God and should evil. You know, this is the influence. This is it. Every child of God, you must be perfect, you must be upright, you must fear God, you must eschew evil. Do you Christian in all the idea we to in Kamfa? I don't even see why God must enlarge you. Because when God enlarges you, you will use it for the devil. What this man called Job, he lived in the land called Uz. And he was the salt of that land. He was the light of that land. Let's go ahead. Ah, you see family expansion. And there were born unto him seven sons and three daughters. This man has already established himself in territorial enlargement. Come on, let's go ahead. His whole economic in your one, two, three. His substance also was seven thousand. Is it is it hundred sheep? Is it twenty sheep? What are you talking about? And 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 what? Hey, do you know the price of one camel? <laughs> and what? Five hundred yoke of oxen and five hundred she asses and a very great. Do you see economic enlargement? Do you see territorial enlargement? And they said, so that this man was the greatest of all the men of the east. Listen to me. You must be known as the greatest. When you are economically enlarged and you are territorially enlarged and you have security enlarged. Security enlargement. I tell you, you'll be a great man for God. And you will influence people all around you. Now look at this man operating in enlargement. Watch what happens. Take me to verse 8. The Bible said one day God was in his meeting in the heavens. Then somebody appeared. Called, called who? Called who? Yes, Satan. Satan too has agents. Your best friend can be a satanic agent. And the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job that there is none like him in the earth? Give me verse 9. Listen to what the devil told God. Satan said, Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for not? Give me verse 10. Has not thou made a security enlargement around him? I can't touch, I can't touch his economic life. I can't touch his territorial life because you have given him security enlargement. He said you have made a hedge about him and about his house and about all that he had on, on every oath. All the size of enlargement. The man had security and oh Jesus Christ. And you have blessed the work of his hands. And his substance is increased in the land. The devil himself said, God, you know that you have given this man security. You have given him a liberating environment. And so, I tried to touch him. But I'm not able to touch him. 
I try to touch his business, but I'm not able to touch the business. I try to touch his children, but I'm not able to touch his children. I prophesy over your life in this year 2022 because of security enlargement. May your children have security enlargement. May your businesses have security enlargement. May your careers have security enlargement. Enough of the attacks. Do you know why the devil was able to attack Job? He, had, he made a deal with God and God took away the security enlargement. Watch what happened. One, he st strike the business of Job. Those of you running businesses coming under attacks, you don't have security enlargement. He destroyed the business of Job one day. From there he moved to his children. Killed them. From there he moved to Job himself. Struck him with sicknesses. Let me tell you, you can, God can enlarge security around you that sickness cannot touch your body anymore. When I talk about security enlargement, I'm talking about covering over your health, covering over your business, covering over your children, covering over, oh, mahadawa. everything, everything connected to you must have a covering. So you are asking me, for the definition of security enlargement, right? I wrote this down under under unction. I said security enlargement is the creation of a supernatural room to increase the level of the protection and immunity of those who are economically and territorially enlarged so that their influence over lives can be sustained and progressively advanced. I'll take my time so that you write it. One, two, three, let's go. I said, security or liberating enlargement is the creation of a supernatural room to increase the level of protection and immunity of those who are economically and territorially enlarged so that their influence over lives can be sustained and progressively advanced. Glory to Jesus. Are you alright? Or I should, I, should, I should say it again. The last one. Okay. The creation of a supernatural room to increase the level of protection and immunity of those who are economically and territorially enlarged so that their influence over lives can be sustained and progressively advanced. Can you put your hands together for the Lord? <laughs> Jesus, hallelujah. So I think I'm done with security enlargement. You know what? Go back to the Exodus 34, 24. Let me show you something there. And because of security enlargement, you can't die before your time. They can throw arrows of sickness. It can't touch you. Unless you go and mess up. <laughs> and then the hedge around you opens up. Then you are in trouble. He said, for I will cast out the nations before thee and enlarge thy borders. Neither shall any man desire thy land. Look at me. You must have a business that is flourishing. Nobody must desire to fight it. 
Do you know why? Because they tried the first one. So he knows that this man, when I touch his business, my children will die. The next one who will die will be my mother. So I don't desire that business anymore. <laughs> Are you, do, do, do you understand this scripture? Yes. They took you to some Jujuma. And the Jujuma told you that in three days, you have a running stomach. And you will die out of the running stomach. Three days time, the one who took you there himself began to have a running stomach. The wife also began to have a running stomach. Day one, day two. Because they told you that within three days, you were going to die. Day two, the running stomach couldn't stop. They went to the hospital. Hospital couldn't help them. They entered the tray. Would they desire your business anymore? Then God will not kill them. They will leave. But do you think they will return? Yes. That's what the scripture means. God said, when it is time for you people to leave your land to the church to go and worship me, don't worry, go. Your land has secret and the kind of things there, when they are coming and they see it, they will not desire your land. May God cause chariots of fire to come around your lives and your businesses. And may God cause angels who have made ready bows and arrows and then may God open the eyes of your enemy when he's coming to deal with you to see all those things. They will see the, your security gadgets and utule. When God called Joshua, he said, Joshua, I'm giving Israel territorial enlargement. Moses, my servant, is there. Joshua chapter 1. And you are the one to take them. God said, I am giving you security enlargement. He said, all I need you is to be courageous. But he said, no man will be able to withstand you. As I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. No man can win over your life. Read it. Joshua chapter 1. You will see there. God will give you security enlargement. We can say Bible. Yes. Hey. You are Bible more. You are trim. Because Bible, yeah. You are Bible more. You are different, 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 different. If you are not solid. Oh, you are not solid. You are not solid. You are not solid. You are not solid. You even in the one who was some bosom near Manaka, they were to be born who buy no. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the security enlargement for my life and for this ministry, for my family. I receive it, Lord. Hallelujah. May the baby add on. A true shame of Bible, my Afana, and I'm a trust, yes, eh? Who can you, Humana? A honor, who are you, Babraboa? In some of my comfort last week, you know. Seven young couple back ten with shame na when ya near was soon in a senate be a one chill, your Bible say na a bonus or ten will be an easy casino. Bible etch any business or name ponchy be bray, name be be a be a yakakas be bray. Eh, yammy and yammy or yet be bray. Yammy no one chill. 
No children can say heaven, no go da mo and then mo ye and go heaven and ye 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 or when you jump be brave, but but after so so many me, now just oh no no, now my wife is in Ghana, oh Jesus, now oh make sure say, go for Ghana, we are brave, 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 we Obinya nka wuwi. Asu ya mi so bae de obebe mama. We no bron sam eko nya mi ho. Eh. Obo sam nka sa ko nya mi ho. O se nya mi. Me hu se jobu no. Ge me ye bia enka no. Ge me ye bia enka no. Me hu se se na oban bo kesie bi e twa ni ho hia. E twa ni ban ni ho hia. E twa ni business ho hia. A town in the bush on which ya, a tabby be on which ya, me ya dea, Miss Anka no da, when your friend, bind boy, ya tin. And then I'm a bomb passing me from Tosus is ya. Of Antosus is ya. A who's ya? And then I go back at you, sir. Go you, sorry. A bronzam catching, I'm so do pa ye, sir, bind bon. Eh, na me try a quam cacra. And then you ye, yammy ye, no. The bomb pies a ye, you bam boy die. One within one day, Job did business now, a man a ye cash, ninia, o guninia, o senia, o seno. Two, Job in bank, or name seven so be ye, na what train, or my train, o comunina. Three, Job Nakasan Goyari. O toy a real man. I'm a yarn to me, shed trousers. Um to me, shed shed. Joko to be now washe. Go pant the air tight in the crown as a matron. Pompo, pompo, a yum be da. A bon, a yum of free muba. A good winna. O trap with a great ye in talk or copper, a friend say. Ashes. In Suno, this is not a from from Kakramano. And I want to trust because not trust that in a one who can't know one who's hey, you who buy more and who didn't you go boy? I'm buying, I mean, more who buy it's a make up buying boy a much a moon a trainer. We are not me parker, ladies and gentlemen. As I end this message, I pray that God will enlarge the security that we have. Last week, I told you that perhaps I would have been dead by now, or one of my children, or my wife. Why? Because a man who lived is not directly behind this way, adjacent or so. Yeah. Apparently, had some issues with me and then my next door, like this, over land demarcation. Now, I went out and because God wanted to make sure that we will get security enlargement in the middle of the night. I don't know how mommy heard. You were the one who heard. He heard somebody curse him. And so mommy called Joel. Joel went to peep through the window. And he saw this neighbor of mine naked. Holding whatever he was holding. And making incantations. And cursing and saying. That if I feel that I have say women of say be you know, because he thinks that me and the next door neighbor, maybe we have some level of influence, and therefore we have taken part of his land, something like that. And he was using those words. And, he, and, and all he said was that between October, is in November and December last year, he said, All of us must die one one, and big funerals must be arranged in front of uh, in the on the street in front of my house. One funeral after the other. My children must die. I must die. And there must be series of funerals. 
and the man cursed and cursed and cursed. And he was using some books, you know, because my son could hear the, it's like those seven books, those mystical books, no year consultations. So when I came, mommy called me and he said, this is what we saw when you were away. I said, hey. Then I took the anointing oil. <laughs> Say security enlargement. Rise to your feet. Say security enlargement. I went to the back of my house and I said, Lord, enlarge the security around me, my wife and my children. Enlarge the security around my next door neighbor. And I prayed and I poured the oil outside my wall back to where he was standing naked. And I stood there and I lifted my hands. And I began to cry to the Lord. Because Lord, if you don't enlarge security around me and my family, we shall die. Joke with it. You will die. So, every day I look at the week. I look at my wife. I never told you. I look at my children. They don't die. The following week, I check. We are alive. I wake up myself. Sometimes I say, Lord, remember the prayer I prayed. Then October passed. We were alive. November passed. We were alive. December. I was checking week by week. There was a particular week. All of us are getting sick. Then I took the oil. I poured the oil on the gun of my house. And I said in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the plague that has entered my house. Get out. I have the security of God. I said Lord take off any plague. The following day I checked on them. They were alive. In fact one of the days. Joel almost went. I don't know whether it's connected to the man's case or whatever. I don't know, but I'm just telling you. I mean, I, I have fears too. I'm a man of God, but I'm a human being. <laughs> I took my phone. I saw like seven missed calls. My son Joe was calling me. We live in the same house. He's using phone to call me. I walked to his room. The guy was lying down. Why better, 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 better? He said, Daddy. I said, Yes. He said, Take me to the hospital. My wife too was not home. My bedrock was not home. I took my phone. I called my wife. She didn't pick. Or she he dry ass. <laughs> but December passed. I marched with my family into this room to preach. We are still alive. Because the man gave us up to the end of December. But here am I. Because of security and enlargement. I prophesy over your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. That may God enlarge you with security. Release protection over you. Give you immunity. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Say after me. Say oh Lord. Oh Lord. Grant me. Economic enlargement. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Grant me. Territorial enlargement. But oh Lord. Economic enlargement and territorial enlargement without security enlargement will put my life at risk. So arise, 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 and give me security enlargement. Eradiate, I'm not being bombing, I'm not being pioneer. Time me, time me, not train me, shame me. Not train me shame. Impo Bind Bok Quinso. Bind Bok Quinso. Bind Bok Quinso. Clap your hands and begin to pray. Pati Braka Pandi Ahaka Pati Majibi 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 Ahaka